I'm Gemma Black, I'm 18 years old and I work in drama, being like a drama practitioner. What inspires me to be creative in Aberdeen is working with young people, so with drama, especially youth theatre and the different platforms there are in Aberdeen, like for different creative like areas. What do you think Aberdeen's creative scene does well? Um, I think what it does well is that there is quite a variety like for different people and for different ages. In what ways could Aberdeen's creative scene improve? By branching out a bit more in each area because like especially for drama like once you turn 18 there's like for youth theatre there's nothing above that like if you're wanting to do device unless for musical theatre there's things for older people so that would be good. <laughs> in the future I would like to be a drama practitioner in communities so like be a community based drama practitioner and educate young people with drama. I mainly want to do device theatre, um, so it would involve creating new work and showcasing it to either like friends and family or like to people of their city. What inspired me to get into the arts was probably my mum, because from a young age, uh, my parents put me into a drama class, um, just because I needed something to do, because I'm an only child. So that probably inspired me, but also because both my parents are quite creative, so yeah. My biggest creative success so far was probably oh man, going to San Francisco in 2015 and performing out there and then performing the show again at the Fringe in 2016. The Life to Come written by Timothy Mason and it was commissioned by Aberdeen Performing Arts and the American Conservatory Theatre in San Francisco. I got out of that experience eight really close friends and um, developing my skills because I learned different ways of working with a director um, so like different skills that you need if you wanted to go into acting or directing so yeah